Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to find the missing angles of a triangle. So we're looking at this triangle that we have here, and the only thing that we know is that this top angle over here is 50 degrees. Now, what we do need to know before we get into trying to find the other angles of this triangle is we do need to know the total angle measure of a triangle. So all three angles of a triangle, right, a triangle has three sides, it has three angles and all three of those angles add up to 180 degrees so all three of them together now typically when we're finding the missing angle of a triangle typically we're giving two out of the three angles so if we're given two of the angles we're able to subtract those two angles from 180 degrees to find the third angle and if we're looking at the problem that we have here I only have one angle so that leaves me with two angles that I need to find. So I can't just do 180 minus 50 because I need to figure out, well, if I do 180 minus 50, that's 130 degrees. So these two angles down here, both of them together would be 180 degrees, but I need to figure out how much each one is. Now there is another important thing to notice about this problem here is that when they labeled those two bottom angles there, they labeled them both A. There is a reason that both of them are an A and it's not an A and a B or something else like that. They are both an A because that signifies that both of those angles are the same. This is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides, has two equal angles. So I know that whatever this angle over here is, this angle A, the one on the right hand side is also the same measure. So what we're able to do is we're going to use the fact that a triangle has 180 degrees and we're going to go ahead and subtract that 50 away because we know that that top uh, triangle or that top angle there is 50 degrees. So that leaves us with 130 degrees to work with. Now, if these two bottom angles here have to be exactly the same, what I'm going to be able to do here is I'm going to be able to take that 130 degrees, and since those other two bottom angles are exactly the same, well, I'm just going to take this 130, and I'm going to divide it by 2. I'm just going to split it into two different angles, and that's going to give me the angle measure of A. So if I take 130 degrees and I divide that by 2, well, 2 goes into 13 six times, and here I'll get a remainder of 1, drop down to 0, 2 goes into 10 five times. So what that tells me there is that angle A is 65 degrees. So the one over here is 65 degrees, and the one on the right is also also 65 degrees and we can test our work here we could do 65 plus 65 plus this 50 up here and we better get a total of 180 degrees because that's what every triangle equals so otherwise just using the fact this is an isosceles triangle which means two of those angles have to be exactly the same that helps us wrap up finding those two missing angles for that one otherwise that is it for this video